Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with a real quick video where I'm going to talk about uh, lossless versus lossy compression for ripping CDs, listening to music, downloads, all that, and why I'm actually making the switch to lossy uh, compression over lossless. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why on earth would you all of a sudden switch to a lossy format such as MP3 or AAC? If you've already, you know, have a whole bunch of stuff, all your ripped CDs and stuff are in flack. Well, uh, the reason for that is, uh, you know, I was thinking to myself, is it worth the larger storage space for a flack song versus a high bitrate uh, compressed song? Uh, because, a, let's say, a uh, flack format of a song is about, I don't know, 40 or 50 megs, I'm sorry, 45 megs. Uh, a high quality MP3 or AAC at you know 320 kilobits per second, it's going to be about 15 megs, only about a third of the size. That's pretty significant difference in file size. And since I just recently got a NAS device, uh, it's got a fair amount of storage. It's a couple of terabytes. Um, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, if you have a lot more storage space now, why on earth would you, you know, care about? if it takes up more space. Well, the reason for that is very simple. Now that I have a centralized place to put media in my home, I'm going to start doing, uh, you know, uh, DVD rips there as well. And those take up, I don't know, seven or 800 megs each, you know, uh, going through handbrake and all that to get an acceptable quality. And that takes up a lot more space, obviously, than music does. So I'm thinking to myself, is and I, and I have a whole bunch of DVDs I want to put on there. So I'm thinking to myself, is it worth it to sacrifice the disk space for lossless compression. And I really put it to the test because previously when I would listen to say, um, if I knew I was listening to an MP3 versus a FLAC, if it wasn't blind, I would think to myself, oh, I think the, uh, the FLAC sounds better, crisper, clear, yada, yada, yada. I would attribute all these properties to it. I would think maybe it sounds better. And then I'm thinking to myself, let's do, let's see if I can actually validate if this is true or not. Let's do a blind ABX test. So that's what I did. I did a um, whole bunch of trials uh, in, you guys are probably familiar with this application, FUBAR2000. Uh, and I downloaded the ABX Comparator. I'm going to link both of those in the description below. But uh, I'll just tell you which what I used uh, to run the trials. Um, I actually did track one off of this album here. This is Alice Cooper's Last Temptation. Track one is called Sideshow. Now I know this is not like a classical masterpiece or whatever. I did, I don't know, grand total trials on that thing. Maybe 60. Uh, spread throughout, you know, some time, uh, different formats, bit rates, all that. And as far as how often I could identify the differences between, you know, an MP3, AAC, or FLAC was 50%, which basically, if you only get 50% right, it's the same as flipping a coin. You're, you know, there's no... Basically, if you're only getting it at that rate, you can't tell a difference. Not realistically. Um, because when you do an ABX, that completely removes the placebo effect. Uh, and that's very important when you test things, especially in audio, because you know your biases can definitely uh, impact what you think you hear. Uh, the Now, to, here's what I tested them on. I listened on uh, my Audio-Technica ATH M50 X headphones. Uh, where the headphones I used uh, during my listening when I was running those trials, because they're pretty high-quality headphones, uh, you can really hear the detail in the music. Now, if I test it over my speakers, even though I have a fairly high-quality setup, it was harder to tell the differences than on headphones. Um, it was I would have done even worse with the speakers than I would have with the headphones. So um, I tried to give myself as much of a controlled experiment as I could with the best equipment I could. And of course... Uh, I was running my audio through my um, audio engine uh, D1 uh, DAC. So I had a fairly high quality DAC, had a fairly high quality pair of headphones, and again, I did no better than random chance. So that tells me right there 
that using the disk space for lossless probably isn't worth it. Now, there are some ca caveats to this, okay? Um, if you don't care about using more disk space, FLAC is the way to go. Um, if you plan on editing the files, tra retranscoding them, basically if you're doing anything other than listening to them, lossless is the way to go. But if you just want to listen to the files, you're not going to, you know, be editing them, doing any production related things, all that. I think lossy is just fine and, pr and indistinguishable from the original lossless um, audio file. I, c I could not detect any audible difference. It just isn't there at a high bit rate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if you do a low bit rate, such as 128 kilobit per second, you're probably going to hear some artifacts. Um, I could tell differences on doing the ABX testing. I could tell differences at 120. Basically, uh, once I got above 192, 192 was kind of the cutoff. I did okay, slightly better than half on 192. Um, I could sort of tell a difference. It was... I'm not saying that I really could, um, but I got like maybe six or seven out of ten versus five out of ten on those. So I so I wasn't real confident in coding my stuff at 192. Now once I got to 256, uh, that's when it just disappeared. And uh, the bit rate I've actually chosen to encode everything at is 320 kilobit per second. And the reason I'm doing that is. I think that's going to give me some comfortable overhead. It's slightly more than what I actually really need. But just in case I ever, you know, severely upgrade my equipment in the future, I don't want, uh, you know, my encodes to be the limiting factor in the fidelity of the recordings. Now, I guess if I ever get, a, you know, truly, truly high-end system, I don't know if I ever will, but if I ever do... I might revisit this again in the future, and I may have to re-rip all my CDs into flack again, but that's my problem. You know, um, whatever. I, I can live with that possibility. If I have to do it, I'll do it. Um, you know, whatever. I'll still have my CD, so it won't matter if, if, if I cross that bridge in the future. Um, so that pretty much is going to wrap this whole thing up. Um, you know... Let me know in the comments below, do you guys use lossless or lossy, why or why not, what format to use bitrate. For me, uh, I haven't decided. It's going to be either AAC or MP3, obviously, and it's going to be 320 kilobit per second um, encoding. I'm not going to do anything less than 320 again for that extra overhead. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did like what you see, you know, please thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.